Hi guys, I'm going to take you through just a couple simple, short activities, safe activities to do in the house using your foam tennis ball. All right, this is a bigger ball than our stress ball, as you can see the size difference. All right, and I gave you this one because it bounces, but if it accidentally hits a wall or a piece of furniture, as long as you're being reasonable with it, it shouldn't break anything in your house. Okay? So I want you to work on your bounce catch activities with this. I bounce and I catch. I want to start out with two hands at first and then bounce and catch with one hand. Switch to the other hand. Make sure you're always practicing with both hands. And then in a V shape. So imagine that you have a basketball here and we're working on basketball skills. All right, so I do it with one hand, bounce and catch. And then I switch hands. And then if you guys watch the uh, activities with the small smiley face stress ball, I had some activities where you could go around your body. You can do it with this too, if you have the bigger hands. And then you could figure eight through your knees as well. Okay, simple things like that. Maybe you bounce it out in front of you, step up and catch it. Okay? Those are simple things you can do. Bounce it out in front of you, try to take a step and catch it. One bounce. All right, pretty simple. And then you can practice the other ones, like throwing, tossing it up and catching it. If you're with the bigger ball, two hands, one hand, the other hand. Stay with it. See, I can, didn't take my eye off of it. Always look at your target. Overhand. And it flew away. But that's okay because it's soft and I was being reasonable with it. And therefore it didn't break anything. So there's simple activities that you could do with your... Hold on, I'm going to grab it. Those are simple activities that you could do with your foam tennis ball.